what it do, YouTube. Sugar Man on that. And I'm back. I'm back with another one of them hour drive tours on our way to the next shop. PC got us together. Shout out to PC for getting us looking good. But now we're looking good. We got to be running good. They've been running good, but not to its best ability. So y'all know I put the Pro Charger on the Chevy. If y'all didn't, I just put a Vortex Pro Charger on the Chevy. And um, it's, it haven't been tuned. It haven't been dialed all the way in. And this, that's what this video is about. We on our way to R&D Performance. It's about, a, it's about an hour away from where I stay at. And um, we finna go out here and see what upgrades that these guys did to the Chevy. So y'all stay tuned. See for yourself what's going on in a minute. R&D performance. Hopefully this time when I leave a shop, I'm looking good and I'm running good. It's just, just as good as I'm looking. Sugar baby! What's up, baby? Sugar baby! My boy Winkles, man. Getting me together, y'all. I see T-Rex on the rack, baby. What's going on up in here, man? Oh man, you know, got the vlog going for the YouTube, baby. Hell yeah. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> What's going on up in here? What's going on with the bill? Not much. Sugar man, I'm going to show you how not to work on cars, all right? Okay, cool. This is how you do not do a fuel system. Okay, well, my boy Winkle say he's going to show us how, how to how you not. don't work on cars. Okay, cool. He's going to show us how you don't work on cars. This is not what you use for a fuel system. Plastic line next to a header, okay? Goes from this, clamped on to plastic, which is airline, and melted, if you could see it, and almost started the car on fire, to a coupler to hard fuel line. That's not what you do. No. Uh, this happened at the last shop that put the Pro Charger on. This is what you use. This is correct fuel line for a fuel system. And what kind of line is that? That is 8 AM line. Gonna run to the front to a fuel lamp fuel filter. That's gonna be tied in to the fuel pressure regulator right there. Okay. So that's what that's you do. That's the one right here with the... Uh, yep, right there. With the gauge on it. Yep, and then new pads. We do the new pads there. Got new pads, man. Here's the old pads. I'm wearing this Garbage. Down. And then QA1 uppers, QA1 lowers. Y'all get in here and see the QA1 lowers. And we got the uppers on. They got them in there. These are the old ones right behind us. Here you have new inner outer tie rods. Old ball joint shit. That's it's all the stuff that y'all was seeing in the back seat. Garbage. All of the upgrades. All of the old shit. I was then, a paper shortage. I couldn't do that at first. <laughs> and then all the old shit with the bad bushings and tie rods and all that other shit. Rip boots. Bad bushing right here causing the car to drive like shit. That's probably why I was doing some shaking too. Yeah. It was squeaking like a mug, man. When we were taking it off the trailer at PC, it was squeaking real bad, too. And then the old pads as well. That's probably why I was doing a lot of that. So now, we got you all right. Okay, so Here's basically. That then, uh, so that's my boy Winkles, man. They're here getting me together at R&D Performance. Here's the Pro Charger. I got the Vortec on there. Vortec Pro Charger. Like I say, man, the car haven't performed at its best yet. Uh, I know y'all seen me with the race with uh, my boy Big Lou with the Baja Panty. I lost that race, but like I say, it wasn't even tuned. We was just we wasn't betting for no money or nothing like that. We was uh, we was just doing a little messing around. I wanted to see what the Pro Charger do, even though I knew it wasn't tuned right. And uh, as as Wink was telling y'all, I was losing a lot of gas. And he said the uh, gas line was loose inside of the fuel tank just as well. So it had my pressure at around what thirty pounds the, when I brought it the, yeah. on 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 the, on. I said it was like thirty on the rail. But it wouldn't go above that at all. It wouldn't go, and it's supposed to be at like what sixty? Yeah, in boost it should be way higher. So. Yeah. 
that's what the regulator is supposed to do is when it sees boost, raises fuel pressure up. You need that extra pressure, you know, when you got the boost cone in there too. Right, and that's why I want to get all of my full power out of it too, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so basically I'm out trying to get this right together, man. I wanted to come in, uh, show y'all what was going on. Gauge supposed to be running at 60 pounds of pressure. It was only running at 30. So I was losing a lot of horsepower with that. Um, I was surprised to even, even get what I was getting out of it. So the, the fuel lines was um, what Winkles told y'all was going on with the fuel lines. So he replacing the fuel lines. Um, the QA1's upper and lower control arms are on. We got the new brake pads on. Uh, them the boxes that y'all was seeing in the back seat when it was at PC shop. So we starting to get all of them out of there. The back seat starting to look pretty clean now. We getting everything up out of there. We haven't got the carpet installed yet. The carpet is still dirty. That's at the shop we're gonna go to after our D performance. This is just to get my car running the way it's supposed to, man. We already looking good. PC didn't got us right. So we 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 got the new mirror zone from PC. He got the new mirror zone and nice and sturdy. He got the new barrel on the back. He didn't went all the way around. He got this front end nice, man. You can't even tell it been blended, man. If you could tell it been blended, it ain't done right. So PC got all of this paint done and he trying to get this Pro Charger to work right. That's the big thing. After this, y'all gonna see me acting a fool. Acting all the way bad, pulling up at the red light. And if you pull up to me at the red light, you just locked in the race. I don't want to hear it. So y'all the upgrades, uh, new brake pads, inner outer tie rod ends, upper and lower QA1 control arms. Um, I think I said brake pads already. New fuel lines. You have to go in the tank, tighten some more wires up. Um, Another line that popped off in a gas tank. So basically that's that's basically it. Other than that, it's just when he get all of that on, it's all about getting it to tune right. And the noises that it was making when we dropped it off at PC, I don't know if y'all was listening closely, y'all probably heard it squeaking and all type of stuff, man. Uh, the front end was trash. Pulling it off the trailer at PC, the paint shop. So them the upgrades we did, we're going to let him do his work. And then after that, we're going to pick it up and we're going to do another vlog when we pick the car up to show you uh, the outcome of, you know, taking my car to um, R&D performance. So the last shop, you know, they put the Pro Charger on, but putting the Pro Charger on and having the car to run like it's supposed to is two totally different things. So now we're here at R&D. We're going to let them work and um, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, only time to tell, man. How we gonna get it cleaned up? Still a little dirty up under there too. Go holler at my boy, Mr. 75 Caprice for one of them washes under the hood after we get him running right. So the next shop gonna consist of the new carpet, pulling the whole console out, getting my, pulling the radio bracket out, getting my AC buttons to work. Cause right now they are not hooked up in the back of the radio. The AC work, but it's not hooked up. I'm um, getting this nasty carpet up out of here. So we got to pull the console out, pull the seats out, pull the radio bracket out. So when we do leave here, we go into the next shop, which is going to consist of getting a new sundown. Put Well, we're not going to put new sundowns in. We're going to rebuild both of the sundowns because you don't have to rebuild them as long as the magnet good. I blew a hole in this one. Oh, y'all can see that. I blew a hole in that one. And then this one is... Uh, went out as well, so we're gonna rebuild those. Clean the trunk up, it's a little dirty in the inside. We got lights up there. We got something going right here on the gold part and get all of this cleaned up. That's the next step after we get the motor right, but we're gonna focus on the motor first. That's another step we gotta do. So get the sundowns rebuilt, get the trunk all cleaned up, get the new carpet put in. We gotta get the kick panel put in. I don't know if y'all can see that. We got a kick panel out at the moment. 
that kick panel was in. This one got to get put in. We're going to take the radio bracket out. Get the AC buttons to work. So he's going to have to pull the whole console out, pull the seats out just to get the carpet in, uh, get the console in, get the trunk in. So that's, that's after we get it running right. We got it looking right. Now we got to get the running right and got to get the sounding right and we got to get the feel right. We got to get that AC jumping. The AC is hooked up, but it's just the lines behind the dashboard is not on at the moment. And we gotta get it cleaned up under here, man. It look kind of raggedy up under here. LS3 Pro Charge. We're gonna get all of that together too. So, just love r and performance, man. We just talked to Winkles. Winkles said give him a couple days. He called me in. Next time we should be vlogging about that. We should be doing burnouts in that thing. You hear me? Trying to see what the Pro Charger do. Put it up to the red light, trying to lock something in. So, um, stay tuned. Make sure you hit like and subscribe to the channel. Um, catch me on the next one.